Welcome to my guide on how to isolate each color for printing um, into its own little layer. So we went all the way to the beginning. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to control or command A, copy, command C, and then command V to paste. See, this one's going to be blue. All right, let's do it again. This one's going to be orange. One more time. This one's going to be black. Okay, so let's move the original to the top. That will help us, maybe. Um, okay, so we already added this select by color tool up here. Um, we added it to our toolbox, but if you don't have it, um, you can just go to tools or just go to help and just do color by select or something like that. I don't know. You can find anything in the help search. It's pretty nice. Um, okay, so let's do black first. So basically we want this whole thing, but we want the black to be cleared. So Let's go to black, and we're going to select all, command A, and then go to the bucket, and I already did this earlier. It defaults to fill similar colors, but if you click on fill whole selection, wherever you click, it'll just fill the whole selection. So I already have it as black over here, so that's what it fills it as. So let's just do that on all of these. You can't see it because black is already the top layer, so that's what we're looking at. But as you can see in the previews, I turned them all black. Okay, so now that we got that, go to your Select by Color tool. Go to Original. All right, let's do black first. So select the black then go down to black. And uh, here, so we can see it. And now we just go to edit and clear. So that's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, you just have to do that two more times or however many times based on whatever colors you have. That's about it. So yeah, so again, for this, I'll do one more. All right, so for orange, we just select orange. Go down to whichever one is orange and yeah, edit and then clear. Yep, that's about it. All right, bye.